2018 up 5 Coyote engine owners, F-150s. If you own one of these, you've probably heard something about the engine oil consumption issues that they've had over the last few years with the 18 up only 5 engine. You just stop checking your oil. A lot of you guys have asked me to do some 5 videos on the oil consumption. I haven't done one to date just because I didn't really know what was wrong with them. They were still kind of like everybody had a different opinion on what was actually causing the oil consumption. I didn't want to make a video talking about something if I wasn't exactly sure that what I'm telling you about the engine is correct because when they first started having the issues we started replacing engines and then they come out with TSB about replacing or reprogramming the PCM because it was a vacuum issue. They said some of them might be PCV valve issues. They've said all kind of stuff could be causing the oil consumption issues that the engines were having. I want to give you my opinion on the 5.0 engine oil consumption. It is probably completely opposite of what a lot of you think it's going to be. So before doing that, I just want to tell you guys about the current technical service bulletin that we are doing at Ford dealers to solve the oil consumption issue on the 5.0. I'm just going to read this straight off the internet. We're looking at TSB 19-2365. You can Google that and find this exact copy that I'm reading off of right now. First thing, this uh, this article, this new one, it supersedes the old TSB that they had put out. I don't even know what the old one was. I just know this is the most current one that we have for the 5.0 engine. Here it says, some 2018 to 2020 F-150 vehicles equipped with the 5.0 may exhibit blah, 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 excessive oil consumption of greater than one quart in 3,000 miles with no visible oil leaks. This may be due to high intake manifold vacuum during some deacceleration fuel shutoff events, resulting in oil being pulled to the combustion chamber from the crankcase, valve guides, and PCV system. To correct the condition, follow the procedures to reprogram the PCM, install new engine oil level indicator, and change the engine oil and filter. When I first read this TSB, I was like baffled that Ford Motor Company was telling us mechanics that we can fix a oil consumption issue with a powertrain control module reprogram. But what I started finding as we started doing these, it actually seemed to be helping with some of the oil consumption issues that we were seeing. People were coming in complaining about the oil was significantly being consumed by the engine. I mean, they were they were changing their oil and within a thousand miles, the, the, it would barely even be touching the dipstick anymore. And after a couple thousand miles, it would be two, three quarts low sometimes. So at first we were replacing the engines and they come out with this. I didn't personally think that it was going to actually do any good for solving the oil consumption issue, but to my surprise, a lot of them were actually fixed by this reprogram. So I'm, I'm assuming that the reprogram is somehow reducing the vacuum during deacceleration, like they're saying here in this bulletin, to stop the engine from pulling so much vacuum that it's actually sucking past the rings. Uh, I, I would assume past the rings. Basically, it's sucking so much that it's, it's putting a vacuum on your crank case and that end result is being sucked up through the PCV valve, it's being sucked up into the combustion chamber and burn out without you ever knowing that you're actually losing oil. So we're seeing no visible oil leaks and we're losing a lot of oil between oil changes. So all that said, kind of this is where we're at right now. We're reprogramming PCMs. If that does not solve the problem, I've actually personally replaced a few cylinder heads that did not fix the problem. I've replaced a few engines. Most of them fixed the oil consumption issue completely after that. Probably 90% of these issues have been resolved by the PCM update. I want to tell you my opinion on this problem. My opinion on the 5.0 engine oil consumption issue is that it's not an issue at all. It's not really an issue. And the reason I say this, and, and I, I've asked a lot of other people, and it, it, as I kind of explain my thinking on it, they agree, seem to agree with a lot of what I was saying. My first point is, how many of you out there actually check your oil? I mean, if you're under the age of 65, I seriously doubt you go out, pop your hood and check your oil before you take off to run to Whataburger or McDonald's and get you a hamburger. No one is doing that. That is, that is something we used to do 50 years ago because we had engines that were so known for leaking oil and burning oil that we had to make sure we had oil in the engine or we was going to have serious problems because we had no electrical system to remind us or let us know when we needed to add oil to the engine. Nowadays, engines don't leak oil, engines don't burn oil. If they do, it's probably a 5.0. <laughs> I've kind of forgot where I was going with this. Not only do they not leak or not burn oil, but we have 
very, very complex computers and electronic systems that will let us know when we're running low on oil prior to hurting the engine. We have that on most all makes and models of, uh, I'd probably say the last 10 years. I mean, these things will actually put their self like down. They won't let you crank it. They'll put it in a D-rate mode. I mean, they're gonna be flashing all kind of stuff at you. Some of the older ones, they would let you know uh, really just by like no oil pressure. You know, it start making noise, no oil pressure. If you don't stop quick, you're, you're gonna damage things. My point of saying all this is, is that I know you're not checking your oil. I don't check my oil. I'm a mechanic and I, I couldn't even tell you the last time I checked the oil in my truck. I don't even check it after I change the oil. I dump it straight out of the wheel and I don't even check it. I'm not going to check the oil level because I know that it's correct. If it's not on the ground, I have good oil pressure and I'm staying up to date on my current intervals, I don't need to check it. And probably 90% of F-150, 18-up, 5 owners are not checking their oil either. I, I, would, I would bet probably even more than that, probably 95% of you are not checking your oil, which is okay. You're not supposed to check your oil every time. Matter of fact, I feel very, very certain that in the next 10 to 15 years, we will see engine oil dipsticks vanish. They'll be a thing of the past. Point of saying all this is that how many 2018-up, 5 are riding around the road? I mean, there's millions of them, right? 2018 to like 2020, I think, was the years that this was affected. There's millions of these things running around on the road. And I personally know that over the last you know, three years, four years, I've only seen probably 10, 15, 20 vehicles come in that were significantly burning oil. So if there's millions of these engines running around on the road that no one ever checked their oil, it has the original stock engine, has the original PCM, PCM software, PCM programming is the original that came from the factory, and they've been running around with 100, 200,000 miles on their engine, with no problems, no issues, no knock, no nothing. How is this an issue? My thinking on this is, and Ford actually puts it out there, they say that it is a normal characteristic for a 5.0, 18 up 5.0 engine. I keep saying 18 up because I don't want you to get confused to think at all 5.0s. 18 up 5.0 engine is normal operation to burn up to one quart every 3,000 miles. It is normal because the engine is designed to run within a range. It can be here to here. The engine holds nine quarts, but it's probably designed to run all the way down to six, six and a half quarts. They do this on purpose because they account for things like burning oil, leaking oil, and they want to have that range so that you don't have to just have a set amount right here at the bottom of the pickup tube. My thinking on this is, is that this is actually a problem. The problem is you. The problem is that you're checking your oil. Don't check your oil. <laughs> you're probably not gonna have any issues. I, I've, I've yet to see a 5.0 come in that the engine was damaged from it using oil. My thinking on this is, is that they're designed to burn oil. They're gonna burn oil. Stop checking your oil. Like check it, <laughs> don't check it. Just bring it in for service when it's time for service. You know, if you're not experiencing knock and, and issues because of the low oil level, just because it's low on your dipstick does not mean that it's not within the range that Ford engineered that engine to run. That's pretty much my opinion on it. I don't think there's actually as serious of a problem with the 5.0 as what everybody makes it out to be because I feel like if it was, all I would be doing all day is just like what I'm doing on these three fives and that is cam phasers. Every single one of them needs cam phasers. If the 5.0 engine oil consumption issue was as big of a problem as everybody has made it out to be, I would be replacing 5.0 engines every single day because like I said, 90% of you do not check your oil and the 90% of people that don't check their oil, if it's burning oil just like everybody else's that is checking their oil, you should be seeing engine issues. You should be seeing knock. You should be seeing engines come in with rods hanging out the side of them because they, they didn't they ran it with no oil. You see locked up engines and we're just not seeing any of this. So that's kind of my opinion on the 5.0 engine oil consumption. I apologize for not making anything sooner because I know we're in, almost in 2023 now. This is kind of an older issue, but that's my reasoning that I didn't say or didn't make a video on this is because I really did not know what was causing these issues. And I didn't want to tell you guys something that was incorrect or maybe not completely truthful. That's kind of my opinion, not saying that is 100% correct or right. That's just the way that I think about this 5.0 issues. Hopefully that kind of gave you some insight at what's going on with them and what a technician's actual opinion is on this problem. That's pretty much going to wrap us up for this video. And if you would, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about what's going on with this engine oil consumption issue. Do you really think it's a problem that needs to be addressed or do you think it's just something that has been blown out of proportion because you, old men, old men, you just Stop checking your oil. We took away transmission dipsticks because you don't need to check it. If it ain't on the ground, it didn't evaporate. You just 
Stop checking your own. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already liked the video, go down there and like it. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps support the channel and it's free. Both of them are free. The comments are free. All of those things help support the channel. So I appreciate you guys watching and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.